second. Hi guys, welcome back to 39th part of the Arduino tutorials. In today's video, we'll be working on the Arduino keypad module. So this very useful component when your project needs multiple button inputs from the user like entering pins or passwords. First, we'll try to understand some basics of this module and how it detects the button press. If we consider the internal structure of this module, it's nothing but multiple push buttons are connected in the form of a matrix where if you press any button, one row and one column gets connected. To detect the button press, each row pins are connected to Arduino digital pins which are set as input and default state as high. Each column pins are connected to Arduino digital pins which are set as output with default state as low. Once we press any button, row and column pin get shorted. Because of this, the state of the row pin changes from high to low and this is how the microcontroller will be able to detect which particular button is pressed. There are different types of keypad matrix available in the market. In all of this, the concept remains same. The only difference is the number of rows and columns. But for our tutorial, we'll be using this 4 cross 4 matrix keypad which has 16 buttons. The components required for this tutorial are Arduino board, keypad module and some jumper wires. Moving on to the connections, first we have to understand which pin corresponds to row and which are for columns. If you keep your keypad front facing the buttons, starting from left, the first four pins will be for rows, row 1, 2, 3 and 4, followed by column pins, column 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this image will give you even more clarity. So you can connect to any digital pins. So I'll start the row pins from Arduino digital pin 2 in a continuous order up to digital pin 9. That's all the connections. If you have any confusions, you can get the circuit diagram link from the description box. Moving on to the code, if we consider the basic working of this matrix and start writing the code, then it will be very complex and we have to do a lot of calculations to get the elements from the matrix. So now to make it simple, in Arduino we have a keypad library. So first we have to install that. In my system I have already installed it so you can get it from manage libraries. So I have done a separate tutorial on how to install the libraries. You can refer to this particular video. First we have to include that library. Next thing is to declare the number of rows and columns. Since these are constant values which doesn't change, we have to use a constant keyword as well. So data type you can use int or char. I'll be going with char. It'll give number of rows. So in our case, it's four. Similarly, number of columns also equal to four. Now we'll declare the pins 
which we have used for this rows and columns using char data type but here we have to use the array to indicate all the row and column pins so it's a array with four elements in our case we have used two three four and five digital pins for rows so instead of giving the number here we can directly give this number of rows similarly for columns which is also equal to 4 so i'll use number of columns directly this we have connected to 6 7 8 and 9 digital pins so as of now we have done with the number of rows and columns and the pins we have connected and last we have to also specify the keys which we need in our keypad so which will be a 2d array or two dimensional matrix so which is also a care data type so the name i'll give it as key array so this will be four cross four so number of rows will be four and number of columns so also equal to four so this will be our two dimensional array so inside this we have to specify the characters so in our keypad we have the numbers from 0 to 9 and alphabets and some special characters like star and ash so as of now i'll be giving the same which i have already kept here since these are characters they are inside single inverted comma so it doesn't mean you have to give the same characters as per your keypad instead of this you can give any characters it just select the character from this list based on the position of key you have pressed so all the required things we have declared now in order to map this rows and columns to this key positions there is a predefined function which we have to call so first we have to create an object of class keypad so the class name is keypad and object name i'll give it as k and the function syntax looks this way so this i have directly taken from Arduino forum so in this function we have five arguments so here we have to mention which keys are we are using and second argument will be number of row pins third will be column pins and fourth number of rows and fifth number of columns so the required things we have already declared here just will provide the same so we need to map these particular keys so i'll give directly this name next is row pins continued by column pins number of rows and at last number of columns So that's all the declaration section. Now we'll move on to the setup. In this tutorial, we'll be printing the pressed key on the serial monitor. So we have to initialize the serial communication using serial.begin with baud rate of 9600. And coming to loop section, 
to get the key which we have pressed there is a function called get key so now to store the key i'll declare one more variable using char data type which is key pressed so i have to call a get key function using the key object whatever the key we press it will be received from here and stored in this variable in order to print the pressed key first we have to check if any key press is detected in that case use serial dot print line to print the key which we have pressed that's it the code we'll upload this and see how it works So all buttons are working perfectly. So if you want different character for all these buttons, you have to just change the values in the array based on your requirements. So that's all for this tutorial. In my coming tutorial, we'll also interface LCD and seven segment displays and try to print this values on those displays i hope this tutorial was helpful and for code and circuit diagram visit the link given in the description box thank you for watching i will be back in another interesting one